for. Mm. And it's not normal white political mm. activists. It's white nationalists. It's people who are it's literally trying to create a white homeland. I mean, it's mm. really the ragged edge of mm. beyond the cliff right wing politics. And their theory is if you can actually try to basically inspire enough mm. white pride among white people who feel otherwise dislocated from politics, if you do a white nationalist approach to politics, that's why you get all this mm. creepy Nazi stuff. And I do feel like the, a lot of the really ragged racial edge of what Donald Trump has proposed was designed to change the behavior of white people, to tap into a type of white vote and enthusiasm among white voters that was going to obliterate anything you might otherwise need to get from people of color, is that he's spiked white vote. He has figured out a way to do that. And that has always been the far right's dream, that you could figure out a way to do it without minorities. In <clears> fact, <throat> you could figure out a way to do it on the backs of minorities by threatening minorities in a way that make a lot of people uncomfortable. I'm thinking about President Obama, too. I mean, to, to have the first African-American president succeeded by a guy who was endorsed by the KKK. It's a national story because this has now, of course, become a touchstone for national anger and despair and, and frustration and organizing around race and policing and this seminal and very difficult and ancient question in our country of whether or not black communities in this country are protected by America's police officers or whether actually black communities need to be protected from America's police officers.